Due to the contagious disease called ignorance, it was necessary to revisit this most misunderstood topic as it pertains to the RH blood groups. Now, some people actually believe that this protein that is located on chromosome 1 is actually from the rhesus monkey. I feel so sorry for these people who believe such foolishness. However, it is not entirely their fault for racist hematologists in the 1940s or the ones that named it after the rhesus monkey in error, as they claim. You see, what happened was, in the 1940s, Austrian immunologists Carl Landstein and A.S. Weiner, while doing experiments with the rhesus monkey, discovered that the rhesus monkey had a similar antigen on its blood, which was not identical but similar to the antigen on human blood. Since that time, a number of distinct RH antigens have been identified, but the first and most common one is the RH, now called antigen D, for it causes the most severe immune response, particularly with RH negative mothers carrying an RH positive fetus. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in... Now, if you did just a little bit of research, you will find that the RH protein is homologous of ammonium transport, otherwise known as AMT protein. Now, for those who don't know, homologous means having the same origin, but not necessarily the same function. What is being called RH protein evolved from this ancient protein, AMT, which originated in archaeal species, not monkeys. And for those who don't know, archaea refers to single cell organisms like algae, which is in fact the most ancient life forms on earth from which multicellular organisms like fish and humans evolved from. Even some bacteria have the RH molecules. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. When modern scientists compared RH molecule with AMT, they found that they share DNA sequence and have similar jobs. The job of AMT is to carry and distribute gas within cells. And the job of the RH molecule is to transport gas molecules known as carbon dioxide in the blood from the tissue to the lungs. As you all may already know, us humans inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. The word inhale is made up of two words, in, which means within, and hell, which means health. So when you breathe in, you take in health. And when you exhale, you release health out from your lungs. Other animals on the planet have some form of RH. But let me remind you again, this does not mean that they have Reese's blood group. For example, worms have the RH molecule. But since they don't have blood cells, they don't have what is being called the rhesus blood type. The RH molecule within worms simply transport ammonia gas out of the worm's body. When you do research, you will find that many other animals have a similar RH. However, it's still not exactly the same. And again, it does not mean that they have rhesus monkey blood. So, in conclusion, what is being misnamed the RH factor today has an ancient origin. It descended from the AMT molecule that is found in every living thing, even in archaic species, which is the most ancient life forms on Earth. I so hope that this clears up the misinformation that's being spread like wildfire on the planet today. I'm Kef Ray, and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw trapping was called the matrix, the world fibulized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you embrace it